This lesson is to introduce Orsted's principle based on the experiment you saw in the brief video before. Uh, when a straight conductor carries a current, a circular magnetic field is created around the conductor. The field will form concentric circles around the wire. That's Orsted's principle. So we need ways to kind of represent these so that we can draw them easily. Uh, it's not it was easy to put 3D into onto paper, so we need some representation. So when we represent current, um, it can be done in a couple of ways. So sometimes it'll be parallel to the paper. So that's this is my wire drawn parallel, and it's going to have a current flow and it might be to the right or to the left, it all depends on the situation, let's say it's to the right. So we show it with a little arrow, and I'm going to put a capital I to show that that arrow is representing current. But we also might want to represent that the wire is perpendicular to the paper. So we're going to do that using a circle. So you can see I've drawn a couple circles there, because we need to have two different ways. Because one way is to have the flow going into the page, and if that's the case, we're going to represent that flow with an X. So in the middle of our wire, we have an X here, showing it's going into the page. And the other way is the flow out of the page, and in that case, we would use a dot in the middle of our circle there. So we need to actually introduce our right-hand rule so that we can represent what happens in Orsted's principle. So the direction of a magnetic field caused by a straight carrying current carrying conductor can be determined by 1. Point your thumb in the direction of the conventional current. Curl your fingers. Your fingers point in the direction of the magnetic field. So we know the magnetic field created is circular, and those curled fingers tell you which direction to draw the arrow on. So if we're going to do this first example with the current going towards the uh, left, so I'm going to put my thumb this way because that represents the current. Then I have my fingers curled. All right. So if I'm going left, then my field is going like this, which is into the page from the top of the wire. So I'm going to have to draw circles that go into the page from the top of the wire. Now if my current is going to the right, then I have to point my thumb to the right, and now you can see that my fingers are curling out of the page from the top. So when I draw my circles around the wire, it has to be in that direction. Now we're coming out of the page, so I can't on my thumb this way or this way, I have to think of this. So out of the page, so I'm going to do it towards me. You imagine your hand coming out of the screen or out of the page. That means my fingers are curling this way. So I'm going to have the uh, field lines going counterclockwise. And now we're going into the page, that's the X, so my thumb has to go into the page, which means my fingers are curling clockwise. So I have to make sure to draw my field lines with the arrow going clockwise. And that is it for Orsted's principle.